Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Daytona and the Daytona Tall from our cruising range. So what we have here is the standard Daytona but the features are the same for both the Tall and the standard. The differences are that the standard version is designed to fit onto vehicles between 1.8 and 2.2 uh, 2 .2 meters in height and the Tall is designed to fit onto vehicles between 2.4 and 2.9 meters. But like I say, most of the features here are exactly the same. So we'll start off with the material that we're using on here. This is our Outex 3000. So this is a high quality taffeta polyester that has fully taped seams. It's been fully PU coated as well. And that gives it a hydrostatic head of 3000 millimeters. So it is completely waterproof. Uh, the frame that we use on both versions are made up of our Duratec fiberglass poles. So you'll see here that these look a little bit different to standard black fiberglass poles. And that's to highlight that we actually have a protective sheath around these poles here to make sure that they're a little bit stronger and a little bit more resilient. We also then use our wind stabilizer system on these models and that is what these Velcro tabs are for. So I'll show you how it works. When you set it up, all you have to do is just wrap these around the pole like this and fasten into position. You'll find that there's one at the top and at the bottom of all four poles around the side here. Um, and this is then where we attach the guy lines. When you pull the guy lines out and peg them into place, that pulls the entire sort of fly sheet, if you like, of the awning against the frame and makes it much more taut and therefore much more stable. So it is a good, strong, stable uh, structure, particularly with the use of our wind stabilizers. The guy lines themselves then are uh, luminous, of course, all the way around here. So uh, these should be a little bit easier for you to spot when it's darker. And they all have their own retainer as well. So when it comes to packing this down, we can wrap up the guy lines and pop them into these uh, loops here so that the next time you come to use it, these are going to be nice and easily accessible. There is ventilation panels across the top here. So if you're tall enough, then you can reach up and quite easily remove these and just pop down like that if it gets a little bit too chilly. But certainly in this position here, that's going to allow cool, fresh air into the awning in here. Um, and that's going to reduce condensation as well. We have large windows on the sides. Uh, so that's allowing lots of light into the uh, awning, making it feel a little bit more spacious as well. So if we just pop round to the front, what you will see here is there's a good sized front door. It's nice and wide, so it's easy for you to be able to get all of your kit in and out of here. So when we step in here, I think what should be quite apparent is there is lots of space within here. Uh, obviously, we've got a table and chair in here at the moment, and there is still plenty of space around us as well. So this is going to be ideal for anybody just looking for that little bit extra storage space or uh, living space. As I said, then the windows on the outside allow uh, enough light in here to make it feel nice and spacious. But what you will find is if you want more privacy or less light coming in, they do have their own curtains, which are just rolled away at the moment down here. And these can actually be brought either halfway up using the toggle points here, or they can be fully closed as well. At the top here then, this is where we have the mesh panels that correspond to that outside ventilation panel as well. And right up the top in the middle here, we also have a lantern hanging point in a good central location. And there is actually cable tidy, so if you do have an electric light with a cable, then you can keep these nice and tidily away. Uh, the whole area in here is actually a sealed ground sheet, so what you will find is that you're not going to have any draft coming in here because it's bathtub in style, so you can see that it comes up around the edges. Um, and that's going to stop drafts, as I say, and it's going to keep out things like dirt, dust and sand, uh, and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. So something you'll also notice is that there are two side entrances on this as well. And on all of the entrances, the ground sheet can fold flat to allow for easy access in and out of here. So at the back then is where we have our link access zone. So this is an area which is fully covered um, from the back to the vehicle here. And there is a ground sheet in here as well, which just tucks underneath the ground sheet of the awning itself. And you can see then just comes up the side of the vehicle to reduce the amount of drafts. And there is actually two side entrances in that area too so that you don't have to come in through the awning. You do have easy access into that area. A great feature of this awning and the tall awning is the fact that we have various different ways of being able to attach them to the vehicles. Uh, and we'll now just talk you through some of those options. The first and most simplistic way of attaching the awning to the vehicle is actually just by attaching it using the guy line. So all we need to do here is just take the material on top of the van and then take your guy lines across the other side and peg them into position. Next, we can connect with the Velcro bands that are already pre-attached onto the back of the awning. And these would just simply wrap around uh, any vehicle that has things like roof bars attached to them. And then, of course, we can then take the guy lines out the back and peg them into place as well. Next, you can connect this awning using suction cup 
uh, clamps, which would be sold separately. But we actually do supply the awning with a steel pole that can go through the sleeve at the back, which you can then attach the clamps to and then attach them onto the vehicle. Next, we can then directly attach the awning onto uh, a rail on the side of the van like this here. Um, and that's going to be ideal if you want to leave the vehicle with the awning during your stay. Finally, we then have the uh, optional extras from ourselves, which would be the magnetic band connector, which would just attach onto any vehicle with a magnetic roof. So it easily attaches on there and then just is guided into position across the back. And we then also have our Outwell Touring Connect set, which is a figure of eight kit that can attach the awning directly into a rail, uh, which enables the awning to be a drive away. So there are a few optional extras available for both the standard and the tall version, which would be a flat woven carpet for inside here. Of course, just giving you a bit more comfort. There's also a footprint available to go underneath this ground sheet, which is going to help protect it and keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days. And of course, we also have our connecting kits available for this too. So there you have it then. That's all the features of the Daytona and the Daytona Tall from our cruising collection. Thank you very much for watching.